This is something I love about fall. See how that tree looks like it's lit up. It looks like it's glowing from the inside because the leaves are colorful and, and the sun is shining on it from the, <clears throat> from the other side. But especially in the morning, I love how it, <clears throat> the trees appear to be glowing. In the spring, I liked I like the same trees when they're flowering and the sun shines through like <clears throat> like it's glowing. Okay, there's a reflection. But there you can see. And that, that other tree over there is red. So pretty <laughs> they just look like they're glowing from the inside very very pretty I need to go take a nature walk in the morning <laughs> sometime maybe this weekend so pretty all right I'm going to add some butter One white onion, or maybe half of one. I'm not gonna put, maybe I won't put the whole thing in. Yeah, that looks like it's enough. Enough onion. I chopped the whole thing. I'll use the rest on them in another recipe. Hello, chicken spam. It's called lunch and meat. <laughs> uh, it can't be called spam actually because spam is a brand name. So this brand name is Viad. I reduce the heat 
it doesn't need to be that hot. Life now, which I wanted them to be. Now, caramelize chicken, chicken hands, chicken fangs. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. Okay, I guess it's caramelized a little bit. As long as it's hot, you know, a little bit caramelized. There, there we go. And then pull it in. And we pull some chopped celery leaves. Um, the recipe said had something else. I think it's cilantro or something. But I am putting chopped celery leaves because I don't have cilantro and celery leaves are they don't taste the same but they're still a green. A green veggie. The recipe had bigger slices of cheese but this is what I have so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to cover it so it can steam and cook at the same time. That is leftover breakfast that my family had. It's chickpeas. I boiled overnight on low with chicken bouillon in it. This morning when it was hot, uh, they had bowls of it for breakfast. Now that it's cool, you can see that the, the liquid is actually kind of uh, jelly-ish. That's how it is when it gets cold. They look like they have some gelatin or something in it, but <clears throat> as soon as I warm it up, it'll be liquid again. Now this is cooking just a little longer. Have to cook just a little bit longer. It's sliding around. That's a good sign. It's not stuck to the pan, but I have the lid on so it can steam and cook at, at the same time. I'm eating my last bit of uh, turmeric and black pepper keto bread. It's made with uh, coconut flour and almond flour and vital wheat gluten and um, <clears throat> Vital wheat gluten has the protein in it. It's low carb and it has protein. So, it's made with yeast. It has a good flavor because I flavored it with something that I like, which was turmeric and black pepper and salt. No. I'm putting some parmesan on it because I didn't have as much of that other cheese as I would have liked. That's my frittata. Mm. Yeah. So, thank you for joining me for breakfast everybody 
Bismillah. Mmm. See how caramelized the onion and the spam are in the bottom? Bismillah. Mmm. Delicious. Warm. Savory. Bite. Keto. 100% keto. White onions have the least amount of carbs, I am told. I, I read those caramelized onions look so delicious on the bottom. I didn't need to add any salt because, well, I did add a little salt to the onions to help them car caramelize. But I didn't add anything, any to the eggs or anything. Because spam and cheese are already salty. I'm mapping out my garden next year in my head. So when October's finished, uh, part of me is going to go to sleep <laughs> until March, March 1st. March 1st is when I can go out and start my garden. Mm. I saw this recipe in a video. Theirs was thicker because they used more eggs. But this was just for me, so I didn't want to use any more eggs. And I want to eat it warm. I don't want to save it for eating cold. Tell me that doesn't look delicious. <laughs> Unless you hate onions and eggs and cheese, I think you will like it. Mm. And of course, the onions are cooked in butter.
I'm starting to feel really good. <laughs> this meal is very satisfying. Mmm, so good. I don't even really taste the celery, but I really like the leaves that are on the celery heart. for health. I have realized and, and discovered I have trouble tasting rosemary and I have trouble smelling it too. That's one of the wonderful side effects of COVID. They stole my, t it stole my uh, enjoyment of rosemary. I can still taste some taste and smell oregano and thyme. But rosemary is gone. Just like my breakfast. Alhamdulillah.